don't even have to don't even have to introduce it really. That's true. It's the last episode of the season, so the motherfuckers already know. They know. That that we're we're hard capping life. <laughs> but it is, bro. Capping on life. Oh fuck. <sighs> But it's fun, man, to take a take a little bit of time, take some time away from from chores and work on hobbies. Yeah, I love trimming them. So, uh, you know, nuggets. Trimming, trimming my lawns, trimming the grass. Trimming the grass. There you go. Trimming, yeah. Trimming the, the shrubbery. Trimming my. A little garden work. <laughs> my balls. Doing a little garden work. Yeah. A little trimming anywhere is That's a little funny. It's good, you know? Yeah, this this episode is sponsored by Manscaped, the fucking Man. lawnmower. <laughs> <laughs> but we, we are doing nugscaping, yo. Nugscaping, bro. Call for your order. Right? No, this episode is not sponsored by Manscaped. <laughs> we don't have we don't have any sponsors. <laughs> yeah, dog. You know we got we got life sponsors. Yeah. You, you wanna sponsor sponsor yourself. Go out and buy a gun, buy a knife. Yeah. Spot. Invest, okay. invest in yourself. Yeah. Invest in yourself. How many yeah. motherfuckers go on TV and tell you that? They'd be like, invest in yourself. Buy my product. <laughs> the fuck? How the fuck? How does that work? Where is that at? Yeah. Where they do that at? Man, dog. You had me for a second. Exactly. Take care of yourself. Invest in yourself. If you haven't done so already, if you haven't read a book this year, this late in the year, the fuck are you doing, bro? Invest in yourself. Read a fucking book. Read a fucking book, man. You know, take up a hobby. If you like getting your hands dirty, then, you know, put that talent to good use in the garden. How about you also plant some plant some fucking seeds? Plant some vegetables. Plant some uh, marijuana or some poppies. What have you, bro? It doesn't even fucking matter. Get your lazy ass up. Get your lazy ass up. Do a little physical activity. Work your brain. Get Get in touch with nature. Track the sun, track the seasons. Out here fucking around, man. Stuck yeah. behind some screens, waiting for Alex to just hand off a what? Hand off a pack? If you if you, yeah. if you haven't been in the streets, you think I'm gonna hand you off with just a pack? Come on, bro. Hey, give me a fight. Come on. Because um, we are in the field. Yeah, yeah, no, for sure. I mean, most and, definitely. And you gotta stand out. And I, I think that one thing that that stands out to me as far as like. You know who who can make it as a lawyer and who's gonna do good in in, in school and who's gonna do good in career, you know, uh, field, is if you're self-taught, if you're a self-teacher. Oh, for sure. Like if you're the type of person where you need to be in a classroom. For sure. And, and you need somebody to tell you what to learn and, you know, such like that. Like sometimes it is nice and in the classroom. That's why you go to law school is so that you kind of get a general background information on like the language and you know certain languages you need to know and oh yeah and you know terms of art and shit like that. It's it's, it's the fundamentals you're after yeah. at the end of the day. Exactly. But once you get that and, and and you're good with that, that's why the first year is the most. Not I I don't know if I'd say the most difficult, but definitely the most trial ridden. Uh, because you're gonna figure out who's 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 gonna make it and who's not. Oh yeah, definitely. Um, I hear the I heard first year is essentially to weed students out. Yeah. Just to weed people out, those who can't hack it, and those who who persevere and go on. I mean, granted, it's it's your grades that matter at the end of the day, but folks can push through. I mean, C's get degrees even in even in law school. Yeah, and I think I didn't do the greatest, and yeah. yet, and yet I'm on the other side, looking looking back at what my first year was like, and and I think I think the difference is, man, is is with, with class and and um, actual career, is that you know like you may do average, you still have to like pass classes, you're right, uh, and you have to have a certain level of competency, uh, to pass those classes. Of course, but the people. But in classes, everything is time based. Everything, you know. Yeah. So it's like, if if you don't write this fucking response to this essay question fast enough, then you're not gonna get a good grade. Right. But in the real world, that's not how it works, man. In the real world, it, it's like you have to not just 
do like fast you know work you have to do um quality work i know exactly where you're going yo in in real life you have to innovate school in general doesn't teach you to innovate school in general just teaches you shows you the structure puts you through this puts you through this mold it's like it's like a fucking uh uh, what's that shit called? Like a pasta roller? It's like it, it forms you into a lawyer. When you're on this side is when you have to innovate because you can't operate the same way you did in law school. Yeah. If you operate the same way you did in law school, you will never advance. And part of being a good innovator is being a good self-teacher. There you go. You know what I mean? Like, it comes full circle. At, at the end of the day, uh, the reason why you have to be a self-taught uh, it, you know, person to really thrive in this industry is because laws always change, man. Like the law always changes, and you have to stay uh, up to date not only with the law before it comes out, but but with the subject matter, with the with the technology, with the fucking material it is that you work in before it even becomes law. You want to be the one to direct and guide law being made otherwise you're just going to be guided and oriented like you were in fucking law school yeah i mean what in what industries do you know that change so so much like that like you know what i mean like you're talking about like like uh with sciences man like the science doesn't change like a, a lot like it does don't get me wrong i don't want to put a blanket statement and say science never changed obviously it changes it evolves but i want to say like in the mainstream it, it doesn't if you're referring to the main like mainstream science doesn't change mainstream science doesn't okay. doesn't want to be questioned That's but at saying, the end of the you're day not gonna, you're not gonna get a fucking a fucking 300 page you know science act that says you know hey all the laws regarding science has changed relearn this oh bitch. yeah yeah no no you know what i mean like yeah. but you know where that you comes from the ground that? that comes from the ground level you know where you will get that shit where Fucking the law. Self-educating, bro. Like, oh, you just spent 10 years of your life doing it this way? We want to do it this way. Check now. it out. It's going to change. Like, oh, fuck me. Or you might want to change what kind of law. And, and that's the beautiful part, I think, about it. Is that, like, if you get bored with this shit, like, you don't want to do personal injury no more. This shit boring. You want to do something else? You want to do something else? Go teach yourself. Teach yourself something else. You that's already, what it's about. You already got the basics of the law down. Now you just got to narrow down on, on, on the important sh- on the uh, on the details, man. And, and I've said it before. It, it, it's the, the innovation is unceasing. It never ends. Besides, I be, if you want to move from field to field, you're going to take with you the fundamentals of the field that you're leaving. Like that shit never leaves you. And that's that, 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 that shit you never leave behind. You yeah. can return to it if you would like, but you have to recognize that while the fundamentals are there, like the actual reality of the field might have changed because that's just how law is. You have to catch up. You have to you have to educate yourself, teach yourself in order to uh, to be somebody. And I mean, like, honestly, in nowadays and age, why do you think lawyers get paid so much? It's because who wants to continue learn, having to learn new laws and new ways of practicing law as they change all the time? It, it could be, it's like working a job and it always changes. Like, they always want to change everything on you and like, yo, exactly. where's my consistency, G? But that's why lawyers are different because they're different beasts, you know what I mean? Like they thrive in that shit, they love that shit, they love the education, they love the the reading, the the fucking mind fucks. <laughs> somebody <laughs> somebody I remember somebody in uh and I don't know if you ever came across like this phrase that that they would say in law school is having to grow comfortable with being uncomfortable. Yes, sir. And that, that is exactly what the law is. Folks who, who go to uh, the work and just pick up a check who are living you know, off a salary, that, that's what they're after. They're after stability. You think lawyers want that? You, you think a capable lawyer wants that? You think a corporate cowboy is going to settle for a check? Come on, bro. Come on, bro. That's why we set our rates, and that's why we have to back our rates up. We have to be, we have to, they said you got to earn your keep. You gotta be handy with the steel and earn your keep, man. (laughs) (laughs) That's exactly it. 
and, mean, and, and, and it doesn't stop. And it doesn't stop. It does scare you. What do you mean I gotta earn my key? Oh, it means man. that that you gotta go out and hunt. You eat what you kill. Eat what you kill. And at the same time, you, you earn a reputation from it. Yeah, you a bunch of necromongers out here. Keep what you kill, boy. Exactly. And and you think... Uh, that's, 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 the, that's the legal feel right there. The Keep only what folks, you kill. Exactly. And, and the only folks who, who, who take or who get a reputation in, in corporate, in mainstream corporate, are just the fools at the top of the pyramid. I mean, there, there'll be little little people making waves at the bottom but they won't get a reputation if if they're gonna settle just show up to work working shift to shift living check to check they won't amount to pretty much anything if they don't innovate if they don't move the fuck up you think that was kind of a a a purposeful analogy to uh the corporate world what chronicles of riddick absolutely bro absolutely it's like you keep you can't you, kill. you can't bow you yeah, can't yeah, bow yeah, to yeah. anybody bro in corporate you, you, you fight to you them. bow if you bow to somebody in corporate they got you they and got then, you eating at the palm of their hand and you try to fight it and you try and to you try fight to, it what and they'll, then they'll you cut your the, salary they'll they, cut your benefits they, they got you by the fucking balls bro or, or you gonna win and then you gonna be the motherfucker at the top there you go you can make your own change too you can make your own change. Traditional. It's traditional. Or you might be the same nigga that you was just fighting. You might get knocked the fuck off just like you just like you did to the other two. Just like you did to your fucking predecessor. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I mean that's what happened it's in the, the game that's of life. What, that's what happened in the actual series, man. He got knocked off and was on that planet. That's the game of life. I don't think I finished it, bro. Oh no, my no. bad. Spoiler alert. No, you're good, you're good. Wait, so Riddick got knocked off? Yeah, in the, in the second movie, he almost died, and he got stranded on a planet and had to survive. Yeah. And that's what the movie was about. Mm, okay. I think I seen the first two. Was it just two or three? Um, so there's the first well, first one, which was like pitch black, I think, like that. Where, right, right, right. Know, he was on the planet, and the little motherfucker. And then there's the Chronicles of Riddick, mm. which was the second movie. And then there's a the third one where I, I forget the name, but yeah. I think it's just called Riddick, wasn't it? Might be, yeah. Reminds me of the fucking Born series. The last movie was just called Born. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? <laughs> Something yeah. like that. Okay, that makes sense. No, that makes sense. So you either uh, die a hero, so they say, or you live long enough to maybe get knocked the fuck off if you become what you despise most. Yeah. The villain. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully you didn't fuck everybody over all the way. No, for reals. And if anything, that's a that's that's a, a good way to uh, go out. I guess you could say that's virtuous. That's that's a virtuous way to go out is to get knocked off for your own corruption. Honestly, I would not want to get killed, right? But if I had to go out, it ought to be in the name of poetic justice. You feel me? Otherwise, what am I, am I gonna live to like 120, getting heart transplants like Dick Cheney? No, nah, nigga, if it's time to leave, it's time to leave, bro. <laughs> it is what it is, bro. It is what it is. If it gets to a point where, like, I'm starting to lose fucking brain cells every day. If I'm, like, if my fucking brain is degenerating due to dementia. If I can't do fucking 20 push-ups, just fucking kill me, bro. I mean... Mine isn't as extreme. Mine is like <laughs> it, it, 20 push ups. This is a lot, nigga. I don't know if I can do 29. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, shit. Mine is if I can't take a shit without help. Like, if I okay. can't. Okay, if I, no, can't I, take I hear a, you. If I can't take a shit without assistance, I'm finna go get some her on and I'm gonna try it for the first and last time. Hey, that's actually a good way and to I'm go a, out, bro. I'm gonna I'm overdose. That's the only time I'm gonna take heroin is when I'm about to die. That's actually a good way to go out. And what I said wasn't so extreme, really, if you think about it. Like, 20 push-ups, my dude. Well, I mean, if, if you can't- You know how many people in America would have to kill themselves if it was 20 push-ups? Justifiably, bro, they have fat to. Motherfuckers. They fucking have to, bro. <laughs> Look at the state of the U.S., bro. Look what high fructose corn syrup has done to niggas, bro. Oh, no. They got to off themselves now, bro. Oh, 
shit. It's only right. Either they put themselves on a program or the or the program which is just fucking yeah, works them out. Okay. They get programmed out, bro. Programmed that's, out. That's what they call it in corporate, getting trained out, bro. Okay. <laughs> oh shit. But no, I, if uh and, and you're totally right. I think if it gets to the point and I think I've told I've told my close ones this. If it gets to the point like if I ever um you know Goodness forbid if I get laid up in the hospital and I'm comatose for three months, I told them if I'm out for one whole business quarter, just take, <laughs> take me the fuck out, bro. Unplug my bitch ass. I'm bored as fuck right now. I'm, <laughs> unplug my bitch ass, bro, because I'm likely not coming back and I'm losing niggas money out here, bro. I'm losing money out here. If I'm out for more than three months... Nah, bro, it, it just ain't even worth it. Having folks hanging you, on you to told, the... You tell your folks that? To the hope, yeah. Having folks hang on to the hope that I'm gonna wake up. Nah, bro, if I didn't wake up in two weeks, all I need is two weeks of sleep and I'm back, bro. <laughs> but if I'm not back in two weeks, fuck all that noise. I'm not trying to come back. That was a fucking choice, bro. Yeah. That was a, if I don't come back in two weeks, it's because... There's something better out It's because I lost in the fucking gulag, bro. You feel me? Uh, I ain't coming back. And that's a little uh, pop culture reference because I don't even play. What the fuck is that? Uh, call it, call it COD. I don't play COD, bro. No. But I know niggas play COD. So if y'all understand that, the gulag, it is what gulag. it is, bro. That's the fucking afterlife. Yeah. I ain't trying to come back if it's past three months. No, I feel you, man. You know, I'll never take vacation for more than two weeks, huh? That's it, bro. Two weeks vacation, bro. I, I've been on vacation for two weeks, and after, like, the fourth day, you're like, nigga, I'm bored. I'm trying to get active out here. I'm, <laughs> I'm bored, bro. I, I'm tired of walking around while looking at these motherfucking statues. I can't, I can't sit still. I, I, can't, I can't take it easy forever. I mean, I got to continue being productive. I got to I gotta innovate. Yeah, it's cool if you're, if you're taking, um, how do you say, how do you say, a sabbatical, right? But even then, you're working on yourself. You're working on something productive like if you're writing a book or if you're uh doing some sort of research that requires uh some personalized intensive attention then that's fine i mean take all the time you need because you're doing something productive at the end of the day what you create from it the final product is gonna be more than worth it it's gonna have some yeah. Some social worth. It's not good for people to drift, man. It really you know, ain't. It, it, I mean, we as social creatures, that's that's one thing that I think is part of the health of a social creature is to find purpose. There you go. You know what I mean? Like some creatures out there, they don't need they don't need that because they they just exist. But when when you're a social and when you're a conscious creature, my dude shitting on NPCs right now. Mm-hmm. They just existing, bro. Uh, <laughs> they exist to be used in shit, yeah. bro. <laughs> I mean, real shit. You know what I mean? But I no, you're right. You're I right. Guess their existence itself is, is its own purpose. You know what I mean? But like, is this, is this one good or not? Yeah. All right. For sure. Yeah. Um. I mean, yeah, man, I, I just, for sure, when with self-awareness, I, I think even though I don't believe that there's any all, all-inclusive all purpose, that's the goal and for, for, for your own your own sanity is find your own purpose, not, not for anybody else, but for yourself. That's real. That's real. And, and not everybody's purpose is going to fit within the same, uh, with, within the same value system as everybody else's. Um, I mean, there, there comes a point when folks can, uh, well, similar to what we're doing here on this podcast, there, there comes a time when a purpose can be promoted and an audience can be persuaded to consider the value of a social purpose. Like, what does it mean to be a corporate cowboy? Why the fuck would I want to be a corporate cowboy? How did I become, you know, before you know it, you're like, how did I end up here? Just fucking often, yeah. often niggas to come up. Yeah. Yeah. How did I end up here? Yeah. Why? You, you did it to be better, either socially to professionally, obviously with honor and integrity, because we're not just being scandalous, living a trife life. Yeah. 
knocking fools off for petty reasons. Don't get me wrong. I mean, petty is petty and we can be petty, but ultimately we're doing it for the benefit of, uh, of mankind, not to commit crimes against humanity. Yeah, and I mean, you know, at the end of the day, like, I understand that there's there's no real purpose to life, you know what I mean, to, in my opinion. I think we're so insignificant, you know, in, in the larger scheme of everything. However. I agree. Life is a game. With, you got to play that shit. With that in mind, it can, you can put it in one of two, two, two practicalities, right? Either you can be like, nothing really matters, so my, my actions don't really matter because I, I, I have no real consequences because anything and everything is always going to turn out the same <laughs> and you just do right. whatever you want right or you say well well, well man that, that's kind of fucking lonely you know and <laughs> or you start and, keeping and, score exactly you know, and, and, or you know you, you see people as like you feel for them like I feel you it's a cold lonely world out here man uh, we might as well just stick together you know what I mean and, there you go and and um uh, Come together behind a common purpose, on, build on some common ground. Yeah, I mean, if there is no purpose to this world, then we we make it with within each other. Well, shit, bro, that's a purpose in it. That, that's a common purpose in itself, right yeah, there. We, we if you create... find no purpose in the world, you got something in common. <laughs> yeah, and and, <laughs> and you come together and you make a purpose for each other. So you're not you're not living for the world. You're living for each other, man. Absolutely. And uh, that's that's some real existential, Let... like you know. Bomb drops for you. you see fucking me? wholesome as fuck, bro. You know what I mean? That's wholesome as fuck, bro. But sometimes, you know, uh, for your for your homies that you ride for, you you, you share a purpose with. Sometimes you got to knock things off. You know? It's it's uh it's just a fact of life, folks. <laughs> just a fact of life. It's just a fact of life. Why? Because there's gonna be folks in the way who have the equal and exact opposite purpose of what you have. Well, if you've ever walked a mile in the shoes of, of um, I don't know, of just the evil motherfucker, if you've ever consorted with the evil type, you understand that there's power in being evil. I mean, there's there's a a, a sense of a sense of um, what is it? It's not even fulfillment, right? Because it's empty. But there is a sense of. Um, Okay, it's it's just dopamine, really. At the end of the day, it's just a rush. It's a fucking high that you get from, from, being manipulative, from exerting, undue or or un, unequal force. What is it? Control. Ex exerting, yeah, exerting inequities on people. Like there is a there is a a joy, a sense of joy to be derived from being evil. You can I get it. I fucking get it. But at the same time, bro, you want to flip the script on that? There's a sense of joy, a tangible sense of joy that's derivable from knocking off evil people, bro. Yes. You, you, there's a fucking... Yes. It's a rush ten times better than having to build an evil empire. Yes. Bringing down an evil empire is a rush ten times better, bro. It creates the kind of vacuum that, that borders on sucking your dick, bro. Oh. You feel me? Did you catch that pun? It's a vacuum that borders on oh. sucking your dick, bro. Oh. <laughs> Jesus, get it. I ain't a killer, but don't push me. Get it. Revenge is the sweetest thing next to getting pussy, right. bro. You feel me? Damn. That's what I'm saying. Bust on these niggas, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, now. Hold up, hold up. Quick, uh, a quick proof of life, by the way. Today is Thursday, November 4th, 2021. And, um,. Uber life. We're just taking it easy, bro. Really. We're just taking it easy. We're chopping it up, finalizing uh, the third season of the Corporate Cowboys podcast. And uh, if you haven't yet, visit the Instagram page. The handle is uh, corporate. No, wait. The handle is Incorporating Associates. And the profile page name is Corporate Cowboys. Uh, you can join the Patreon. We're going to be uploading content soon. Maybe even bonus episodes, what have you. Uh, if you want to shoot a donation because this is a non-for-profit operation, you could do that. There's a there's links for a PayPal, a Venmo, a Cash App. All that is set up and uh, liable to move around because we have to keep money moving one way or another. Uh, you want to send something physical? You could do that as a physical address, or I mean, it's a postal box. 
P.O. Box 3372, Rancho Cordova, California, 95741. And we'll have that shit picked up, forwarded, organized, whatever needs to be done. And I've already said, you could send um, letters, you could send um, gifts if you want, you could send questionable items, but nothing, <laughs> questionable items, <laughs> nothing, but nothing uh, outright contraband. Piecemeal that shit. Piecemeal it. You feel me? Peace, <laughs> <my dude. laughs> Roll on. Um, I mean, yeah, we're we're just getting down right now. Uh, trimming up some um, trimming up some uh, some bushes, some fucking hedges, trying to get our 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 lawns and gardens in order. Si, senor. Si, senor. <laughs> Your grass very nice. Your grass very nice. What you use? Oh, oh I use Scots, bro. Oh, Scots, Scots. Man. Shit. Fucking miracle grow, man. Scott, use miracle grow, bro. Uh, I use uh sweet tea, unsweetened tea. Bro. I used to use uh, I used to use coffee grounds and banana peels. Oh yeah, that does it. Uh, what? That does it? Oh, yeah. Did you ever get like deep into composting or like was yeah. it uh yeah? Did you have your, like your own bin? <laughs> um, I composted yeah. for a while. Yeah, I, I, I composted for a while, but it was really more, more like a like a pile. I know folks who have uh, composted in bins. Yeah, I feel like that's a little bit more intensive. That requires too much attention. That I probably can't pay it. I mean, if I could if I could dump scraps in a pile and mix them every now and then, you could do the same thing in a, in a pile as you can in a. In a a, a barrel or whatever. Okay. Bin. You can yeah. Do the same thing. Uh, matter of fact, I think on the ground, the, the best thing I've seen is when you have fucking like uh, like not a bin, but you have basically like a fence, like a, a closed-in area mm -hmm. where it's still attached to the ground, because then you can get worms that'll crawl up into your shit. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I I, I think I know what you're talking about. And that'll that'll really fucking put some icing on the cake for your, for your shit when you can like uh, get some worms worms are the best thing for slow man honestly for those for those that are listening closely and intently uh why don't you look up hugel culture it's uh something that that uh what is it cottage um what is it cottage residents used to do it out in like germany or, or fucking sweden hugel culture I think it's like J U G E L K U L T U R. That? It's essentially what you're talking about. If if we're talking about like a, I I think you're inferring to a like a raised bed off the ground, right? But like it's still attached to the earth. Like this has it still has access to dirt underneath uh, it. No, I was just talking about something that laid on the ground. Oh, okay. Not, not raised. But if it was like a raised bed, I mean, it would be a little bit more contained than just a pile because I used to just, I used to fucking... I think that's best, honestly, just a motherfucking pile. Just a motherfucking pile, bro. Yeah, but I mean, like... Leave uh, that shit exposed to the elements. Like, the more, the more it decomposes, the better. That's what you're looking for. You want it to decompose quickly and efficiently. Yeah, I mean, the, the quickest way to get it decomposed is if you can get it like compost is crazy because it'll get really hot in the center oh yeah it'll get like if you're doing it good it'll it'll you can put your hand in there if you want to uh, <laughs> and, and it'll be uh hot it'll be hot and, yeah uh, a lot of people take the uh the outside dirt the dirt on the outer end and they'll continue piling it on the top and just make sure there's a lot of water in it and it'll it'll get hot and it'll decompose whether it's on the ground or raised bit bro okay um but yeah. So I, I guess that just becomes a, a question of style, whether or not you want something a little bit more contained, like in a, in a raised bed of sorts. Yeah. That was a nice throw, it lined up. Yeah, thank you. 
<laughs> whether you want it to, uh, in a raised bed of sorts to have it a little a little contained like if you want to be a little preppy square or or maybe you don't have enough like a lot of square footage like maybe you have a smaller backyard yeah i think i think that's that's a big contributing factor how you do that like if you got plenty of land then you can just leave that shit in a pile hell yeah and if you have like a little dozer a little bobcat you could mix that up via machinery you hell don't even yeah. got to be out there with shovels and yeah. fucking picks that's what i'm saying bro okay that makes sense that makes sense and you just gotta have plant material to, uh, you just have to have material to feed it, whether it's like, you know, fucking and, uh, food scraps, uh, scraps, old trimmings, fucking hacked off limbs from, from people who have fucking, who have did you wrong. Oh, uh, yeah, that might, yeah, that <laughs> might uh, fuck up your soil. I wouldn't do that, but. That might fuck up the soil, you're saying? <laughs> Too but, much uh, fat. He's saying it's too much fat in the American diet. Yeah, maybe if you burn them first and then put the ashes in there, that might be. There you go, man. A little bone meal. A little, little bone, bone meal. meal bro. Never did uh, dirt wrong, bro. Yeah, bro. I'll tell the point. If you are gonna do that though, you wanna equalize. Uh, you, you, you don't wanna equalize the fucking acidity in the dirt. Put some fucking lime yes. in that bitch so it yeah. doesn't smell. It doesn't fuck up your your pH. Yeah, get a get a pH reader, man. Disposing bodies is a, is a fucking serious business. Yes, man. It's art. It's a fucking art and a science, man. Right? <laughs> this guy. Right on, right on. Not that I would know or anything, bro. I don't know anything about that. I just, I would assume, based on, you know, just thinking about the process. These are just things that I've thought about, things that I've read. I, I, I watch a lot of uh, crime TV. Fucking CSI, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Should go. I watch a lot of fucking 48. And then, like, w when they discover the body, and it's been, you know, it's been fucking decomposed, or yeah. on the verge of. I think about what I would have done instead. Yeah, you think about how the dude yeah. fucked. Man, that dude's fucking up. He got caught lacking horror. Uh, <laughs> idiot. <laughs> yeah. That's too funny. Yeah. Well, it being Thursday, we might have to wrap it up here. Gonna get out, see if we can't get into something else. Something a little bit more, uh, uh, how do I say? Light? Light work? No, not even light work. I mean, everything we do is kind of heavy. Heavy handed niggas, man. But we're gonna wish y'all a great weekend. This Happy is, Hanukkah. This is <laughs> AP and AR signing off. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Take it easy. Bye-bye.